civil societies, human rights defenders and activists in Nigeria have called on the Nigerian government to repeal laws that undermine sexual and reproductive health and rights of the citizens. This was the thrust of the Nigerian first SRHR 2024 conference with the theme SRHR Cultural and Social Norms Within Communities. I strongly believe that transgender persons are supposed to have every equal right that people also have. But because of the norms in Nigeria and even in Africa, people get to believe that being transgender has to do with the Western world or with what we learned from the Western culture. And also people get to attach religion to, to the discrimination of trans persons. And I would want a situation or a country where trans persons would not be forced into social norms, into things they do not want to do, but should be given the rights to health care, to, to the legal system, to be able to seek justice. I, I verily believe that sexual and reproductive health and rights are issues that are rights inclined to the human as any other rights. And for Nigerians to enjoy this will mean that we need to interrogate our laws. We need to interrogate the norms in our society. We need to interrogate our cultures and sift out those areas that are against human rights, that violate human rights, that undermine human rights and try to address them. Undoubtedly, there are laws that violate human rights because there are laws and there are human rights. Some laws can be anti some cultures can be anti, and we need to, whether it's, like, whether it's, it's, our, it's at, at our workplace, in the domestic space, family level, wherever. Where are those things that we are putting in, 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 in place that we think should be there that are in fact acting as barriers to the enjoyment of our sexual and reproductive health and rights? These are the issues. I think in setting the precedent, uh, I'm not sure that we have a specific conversation around sexual and reproductive here by organizers in Nigeria before. So I think it's a step in the right direction. And ultimately, it will hopefully into the future, it will become a very strong advocacy platform to influence government and policymakers in the country regarding sexual and reproductive health and rights. So I currently lawyers and for what they've done today. I will look forward to future collaboration with them.